Hello guys and welcome to We Throttle. So as by the name you can see that uh, yes we are here at KTM showroom uh, to take the test ride of the 125. Uh, there are many things that I would like to share in this video and I cannot even tell you that how desperate I am to share all those uh, things. First we'll uh, see how the motorcycle is. So this is uh, the 125. Now this is exactly the same as 200 so basically you are getting all the components as uh, it's available on the 200 that includes the same uh, disc brake, the same uh, sort of chassis and the same swing arm and the big sprocket look at that I really love this sprocket now this is huge and for a 125 cc this is a premium premium stuff i really like the design the older design the reason is this make me you know feel nostalgic about the time when the ktm uh, moved into the market and also there are many youtubers who have given the reason that why ktm is not giving the uh, design of 390 here basically the pricing issue and also this has a single channel abs and again the same pricing issue uh, that why KTM is not giving the dual channel ABS on this. Now this is ideal for me because I can lock my rear wheel whenever I want to. Now this is a liquid cooled uh, 124.7 cc engine. I do not want to get into the uh, specification of the motorcycle. You can see that in the description below. Now basically what I want to uh, share is how this bike rides because I couldn't get the full ride of the motorcycle. It is. It was a small spin, and uh, I could not, you know, make a bigger judgment on the bike. Also, as I was told by the company that I cannot take the test ride of the motorcycle without a pillion. Now, this is both funny and embarrassing because I'm riding these bikes from so long now, and KTM is saying that you cannot take the test ride of the motorcycle without a pillion. This was funny and embarrassing at uh, the same time. Now the employees were really good. They helped me and they also tried contacting their seniors so that give me they, so that they can give me a test ride of the motorcycle alone. I mean, I've, I've told them you can, you know, uh, take another bike along with you and they, uh, the employees was like okay with it. The only problem is the KTM guys, they were not happy giving the 125 for a test ride without a pillion. I don't know why. I seriously don't know why. Uh, why. This is funny. But uh, there is something that I would like to conclude in the end. I will share it once I reach home. It would not be a nice thing to say in the showroom. <laughs> at the KTM showroom it would not be the best thing to say and uh, the conclusion the overall conclusion uh, will be given at the end of this video so please watch this video till the end so you can see uh, how bad or good experience this was just stay there and enjoy how the ride was it was it was early in the morning so it was like six o'clock in in the morning and I think you won't be able to see the road exactly but I think you'll definitely notice how the motorcycle rides so guys it's 6 o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm riding the 125 so let's see the switch gear it's just like the 200 everything is normal it's just uh, the ABS that is working only on the front end which is good uh, Okay, so uh, my uh, height is uh, 510 and the seat height is above 800 that you can see in the specification uh, but I can give you my views on it and as per my view I think uh, the seat height is good both of the feet are on the ground but the only thing is that the seat touches my thighs here when I'm standing still in the like if I'm going to stand still in the traffic lights or something. The riding posture is good. Well, my feet are uh, a little backwards, so a bit aggressive from the feet side. But uh, 
that, that this still has this still has the upright riding posture <laughs> this bike is so much fun 125 cc now the only problem which i'm facing right now is the seating posture but this is a tiny little fun bike it's it's quite amazing <laughs> It's small, it's compact, but for tall riders it can be a problem because I'm not able to sit properly. It's quite aggressive for a 125cc, so for the people who are like of the short height uh, can actually enjoy the bike a lot more. Now good feedback from the suspension. It has the WP which is a good thing and that is the reason the price is a little bit more than what you can expect from a 125cc motorcycle in India. So I'm riding at what 30, 35 and no jerking but then there's no instant pull also so it's like uh, on a mild state of tune. So we'll just check the uh, acceleration of the bike so it's almost like zero. Okay, nice, nice, really nice. I think it's the suspension, the feedback is good, the acceleration is good for 125. The handling is pretty good, although the bike weighs 148 kilograms, but you do not feel like you're riding it on that sort of weight. Um, the seating posture, as I told you, bit uncomfortable for me. It's completely on my thighs all the time. Although I'm a fat guy, but then I think still uh, the seat could have been a little bit better. And if you talk about the corners. The tires are good, they're grippy. Uh, but the most important part is the handling. Because of the better riding posture, the handling is good and you can also feel the grip. So that's the whole point of riding this bike. This is a urban sport commuter, which is really good. This is a tiny rocket. So guys, I hope you've seen uh, how the bike rides and I know it was a very small session and it was all black there because it was early in the morning at like 6 a.m. and there there are a few things that i would like to share for this particular video it was really funny and embarrassing at the same time now what happened was i called them on tuesday or wednesday like i called up all the KTM showrooms that i really want to take the test ride of 125 because i'm interested uh, in buying one of uh, the 125 so one of the duke actually so i called them on tuesday and i said i want to take the test ride also i would like to make a video so they said okay that can be done but when I reached to the showroom, they said, sir, we're really sorry, but we have to send someone as a pillion rider with you. So that was quite embarrassing. It's not just like one showroom, three different showrooms. All of them said the same thing. Now, they also kept my car keys as if I'm going to steal their motorcycle. They also kept my license. So I had to uh prove them that i am here just for the test ride it's not about i'm not gonna steal or something like that overall impression the bike is really good the engine is like really great uh everything is the same as the 200 but uh, i think it's too pricey for indian road conditions uh you can basically get many other motorcycles at that point of price um, you can you know look for Apache 200 or the Yamaha FZ250 uh, Seriously guys, you do not need that motorcycle like 125 is not um, Worth that amount of money. It's only worth if you really want to show off um, Or if you are into a racing scenario where you are riding into a category of 125 cc 
but overall a very poor customer service by KTM and they have totally ruined my mood at last cannot place uh, KTM showroom uh, guys said that yes they can give me a small round around the circle uh, all alone but then someone would come along with me on other bike um, that is still okay but last me mera man bhar gaya tha i could not call them anymore i have called them at least 10 to 15 times on all the different showrooms uh, to get the test ride of 125 cc ktm it was really funny and it's not like i, I am going to hate ktm for this but this is very poor i was supposed to get a test ride and i was scheduled for it at last they were like someone has to be a pillion rider um i hope this is not the same case with you guys because i've heard that they do not give the test rate of 390 duke also because it sells without any test rate so that was the statement coming from an employee which was a very bad statement but ktm it's really embarrassing what you did with me uh, not just you but you've given the instructions to your employees to talk like that that we cannot give you the motorcycle now how can i give how can i enjoy the ride with a pillion on i'm already 90 kilograms he's gonna add 70 more so how do you expect us to accelerate the bike that's all i want to say but overall very good motorcycle the vibrations are not there uh, it's the same sort of unit that you see on the 200 but yes it's a smaller one uh, swing arm is the same the specifications are almost the same like there's a little bit of difference in the length and overall uh, stuff it's the same motorcycle as the 200 uh, but a smaller engine so that you can you know shell out the money I don't know that there's there's no real purpose of this bike uh, that's all I want to say I hope uh, you guys would not mind me going against or saying anything against the KTM brand I do not hate them it's just out of sheer um, not even anger it's just disappointment but thank you for watching V Throttle and also if possible will be giving you uh, an update if i get the test ride of 125 but i don't feel like riding it anymore that's all